Hey everyone, thanks for joining Learn to Play Games. My name is Lance, and in today's video I'm going to be playing through a brand new game coming to Kickstarter called The Four Horsemen. This is a new game by Win Win Board Games. It is a one to four player game that takes roughly one to two hours to play, and it's a fully cooperative game where all the players are working together to stop the apocalypse and defeat whichever scenario they've chosen to go on. So in this video, I'm going to be playing through the game, showing you the tutorial mission, which is going up against Malaise. And that one's going to last six rounds or six turns as long as I manage to make it through it alive. Otherwise, I'll end a little early in defeat, but hopefully we'll be able to get all the way to the end here and defeat Malaise and see how things go. So as always, if you find my videos helpful, if you like what I do, please consider that like button and subscribing to my channel. It's one of the easiest ways you can support channels like mine so we can continue to grow and be able to produce this content. If you want to get notified anytime I drop new videos, as I'm constantly dropping new videos, whether they're teaching videos, Kickstarter coverage, unboxings, playthroughs, and many others, hit that notification bell and that'll let you know whenever I drop new stuff. Now, I do also want to point out that all the materials that are used in this video are prototype materials and are subject to change and will look a lot better in the final production copy of the game. I also have a link up in the top corner if you'd like to just check out an overview video where I go over the main features of the game and then show a sample turn to give you a better idea how the game plays. So let's go ahead and head to the table and we'll see how this one plays. All right, so moving into the game with this one, I again am going to be playing against the tutorial Malaise, and I've chosen two heroes to use in this one. I have Raphael, which is the healer, and Hercules, the brute. So we'll see how my heroes hold up in this particular mission. So from there, I do want to go over a few details of the game and how everything kind of works. So each of the, the bosses or scenarios you choose to play is going to list the amount of hours that you're going to have to play that scenario with certain conditions that are going to be needed to be met. And some of these will add additional conditions and things throughout the rounds or hours that are going to be triggered at certain points. So first off with this one, it's going to tell me that I'm going to add certain events to it, which there's an outline of how to set all that up, which I already set up my event deck. And then it is also going to have other effects. So with this one, I'm only going to use stage one relics and events. And then at the end of the hour, uh, each of the heroes is going to gain one corruption. So that's an additional step that normally doesn't take place. And my goals with this is to have at the end of the sixth round or hour, both of my heroes that I'm using have to have completed five of the divine powers using their divine power abilities five times throughout the game. So hopefully that'll happen. So from there, then we're ready to move into the game itself. And so each hour of the game is going to be played over four phases that are going to be done in order. The first phase is going to be the events phase. And during this phase, you're going to first reveal a new event if there is still an event in that section, and then move the other events down and then resolve those events based on their order, starting from the one that's been out the longest and then working your way back. Each one of these events is going to have all kinds of different effects, adding different demons to the areas, having players pay different resources, and all kinds of different things that are going to impede the characters' movements and give them more challenges they're going to deal with, as well as being able to move the four horsemen. And if one of the four horsemen ever reaches the center point, the game is over and the players have lost. Now, there's going to be some other loss conditions as well, such as if at the end of a round, if there are 10 or more demons at one site, that's going to cause the players to lose. Or if the players don't meet the victory conditions at the end of the scenario, that is also another loss condition. Or if both uh, or all your characters have fallen, which means their corruption and health is at the same point. All right, so moving into the game, we're going to go ahead and start with the event phase. So on here, as you can see, there are three different boards out right now. We have the Four Horsemen board, the event board, and the world board. There's also a fourth board that is going to have the different relics that players can purchase at the during that phase in each one of the rounds. I'll add that one onto the board when I'm using it, but as of right now, it, this is this does take up a lot of board space, so I didn't want to try to cram too much in here. So I'm just going to simply move that one on when we're going to use it. And then from there, then I'll take it back off again. But that's part of the strategy as well. Players can look at that at any time during the game and decide which cards that they really want to try to go after and pick up. And so that is going to be another thing that players are going to have to manage with their resources. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it. And our first event is Death of a Prophet. 
So this one in the middle is going to list effects. If you want to make the game harder, you can carry out those effects out or they're going to impede the players as they play their different relics. And then it's going to have different effects that are going to happen based on where it is on the board. And each one of these is going to be resolved over the, the next three hours of the game. Now the players can also collectively choose to handle the discard effect and eliminate this event completely, but it takes up a ton of resources. So that one is going to be up to the players whether it is worth it or not. But I think with this first one, I'm just going to go ahead and place it out and that first spot, and then we're going to resolve the first spot for that. So all players are going to have to lose one wisdom. So we'll add those. And they're also going to lose one of their innate spots. So both of those will go away. If we were playing with higher level heroes, then they would also have other effects there as well. All right, so then from there, we're going to move into the heroics action step. During this step, you're going to perform any upkeep that's handled, but there isn't any in this particular scenario. And then you're going to assign relics to the hero board. So each player is going to draw five cards into their hand. And then with those cards, they're going to decide where they want to place them. They're going to place two cards in the boom, one card in the use, one card in sacrifice, and then the last card that they're not using will be placed in their discard pile. So with Raphael, she is the first player, as she is the first player token. So she's. I'm going to go ahead and start with her. And so she has two Inspire cards, a Heal, a Bless, and a Prayer. And again, each one of these cards is going to be broken down into those different sections, and it's going to tell you what you gain by using it. So... Sacrifice may be pretty good for this one. So I'm going to go ahead and place that in Boon. I'll go ahead and do a sacrifice on that. I am going to, let's see. I'll place that in the Boon. And then as far as use, I can either gain two resources myself of my choice, or I can gain an innate, and then I can give the other player a resource. Hmm. I think I will take Bless. And so the, the other Inspire will be discarded. And the other player is going to do the same thing. And of course, you can do this simultaneously as the players. So we have two Illustrate, uh, Illuminate. We have two Reckless Charge and a Smite. So unfortunately, these are not going to do a bunch of, are not going to be very useful at this point because we don't have any demons out to handle other stuff. So I will sacrifice one of those. And let's see. I think I'll do that one and this one as boon. And I'll do. Do I really need that much, pre that much prestige? Otherwise, it would be that. Yeah. All right, and then this will be discarded. All right, so now that both of our players have that out, they're going to be able to move into new zones. So we're just going to go ahead and move into the, the board at this point. So I'll go ahead and do Raphael up in North America, and we'll send Hercules to Africa. All right, and then from there, now we're going to move into resolving the relics. And again, we're going to start with the first player, and she is going to choose one of these sections to resolve. Then it'll move over to Hercules to do the same thing. And he can resolve a different section than she does. So this is another part of the strategy where players might get different benefits by doing their different steps in different in our different areas and different steps. All right, so let's go ahead and say, for example, that we want to do the use first with Raphael. So she's going to resolve that. So she's going to gain one innate, and then she's going to give the other player one resource of that player's choice. Since he only has one Wisdom, I think I'm going to take a Wisdom in that slot. And this will go into the discard. From there, now it's going to bounce over to Hercules to do something. So I think I'm going to go ahead and resolve the Boon. And so this one's going to give him a Zeal, a Innate. And he could move a Demon, but there aren't, again, any out on the board. And then this one will give him two Zeals. And then this will be discarded. Moving back over to Raphael, she is going to go ahead 
and do the sacrifice next. So this one is going to give her three resources of her choice. And wisdom has been a big thing, or will be a big thing with her. So she's going to go ahead and do that and gain a prestige as well. And then the other player is going to gain one corruption and two resources of that player's choice. And again, with any, and when it gives you wild resources, it's just going to be the general ones, which is wisdom, zeal, or prestige. So I think I will take a prestige and a wisdom. Well, let's go ahead and take two wisdom because I'm going to get a bunch of prestige coming up here. So let's just do that. All right, so then with a sacrifice, now this is going to be destroyed and returned to the game box. So I'm just going to simply set them off to the side over here. All right, so that was her turn. Back over to Hercules. I'm going to go ahead and do the use. So this one's going to grant him four prestige. So there's two, three, and four. Back over to Raphael to finish off her turn. So she's going to do the boon, and this is going to give her two prestige a wisdom and an innate. All right, and then these will go into the discard. Back over to Hercules to resolve his. Now he has the sacrifice for this one. So this is going to determine based on the number of prestige he has what he'll get. So he has eight to nine, which, uh, or he has eight right now, which is going to fit into that section there, which is going to give him plus seven more prestige. So that's going to really hopefully help him out. We'll see. So there's five, six, and seven. So that gives him 15. Oof. Okay. And then again, that'll be removed from the board. All right. So once our players have resolved all that, and again, with the divine powers, they can use them at any time they want to. So for example, let's go ahead and, and start off by using one of Raphael's, I think. So each one of them is going to have a requirement based on the character's corruption. So right now, Raphael, she can only use the first two abilities as those only have or have a requirement of zero corruption. So she could either do uh, obedience, which is going to cost two wisdom to give her two faith, or she can do the laying hand uh, on of hands, which is going to require her to spend a prestige and two faith. And then she gives the other player one health, which I think is going to be useful. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna spend one and two, and I'm gonna go ahead and just put a marker up here to signify she's used one of her powers, as our goal is to have each of the players use five. And then that will add one health to his board. All right, and I think that's all I want to do. Again, you can keep using abilities if you want to, but you don't have to. All right, so then we're going to move into the hunt for relics. So each hero acquires one or more relics from the relic quarry. So again, I'm going to move this board on to here. And so we have six different relics to choose from here. Now, some of these relics are generic relics that any player can use. Other ones are going to benefit a particular type of player or class of players. So we have the ones with the virtue on them, which is going to be more for uh, our Greek players. And then we also have the ones with faith on them, which is going to be more for our Christian players. So we have the Great Church. This one is one resource of any type and three faith, which is pretty good. Oof, that is a lot of corruption, though. Man. Oh, okay. no, it doesn't add, doesn't look like it adds corruption. It's just saying if you have eight or higher corruption, it's going to give you one prestige as well. Um, two and one. That's a fairly cheap one, though. So that might be worth it. All right, so I think with Hercules, I'm going to purchase the Shirt of Nessus. So this one's going to add one demon to his area. So we'll add one demon to his section there. It's going to add one corruption, and it's going to cost him three prestige. And then this will go into his discard pile. All right, and then with Raphael, she she's pretty much those two. I think I'm going to go ahead and get the... Seven League Boots. I think that one's probably, probably because it's 
Yeah, I'm going to do that one. So that's going to cost your four resources of her choice. So I'm going to go ahead and do one, one, and two. Again, that'll be added to her area. And that is going to end the purchasing. Now, the players can choose to purchase more cards, but again, with this one, since I have to try to activate so many divine powers and I don't have a ton of time to do it, I don't want to go through too many resources, again, as I'm going to potentially need those to end an event or something like that. So I'm only going to purchase one card with each player. From there, then, you're going to remove any cards from the top row and discard them. The bottom row slides up and new cards are going to be revealed. All right, and then I'm gonna remove this and add it back over. And then each of the players is going to go ahead and draw a new hand of five cards. And we would check the win conditions, which right now we have not met them. So then you're going to advance the hour marker. And you're going to pass the first player token to the next player in clockwise order. So now Hercules will be the starting player. And then we're going to start a new round at hour two. All right, so moving into that round, we're going to start with the event phase. So again, we're going to, we're going to slide all the events over. And then we're going to reveal a new event. So this one is Pit of Unhappiness. So this one's going to start adding demons to the different areas. And this one is going to, let's see. One would have to pay three, four. That's not a terrible. So I think I'm going to go ahead and let that one roll as well. And then we're going to go ahead and move into resolving these. So this one at, sec at the second hour is going to add three demons to two different areas. So I'm going to roll a d6. That's going to tell me which, which areas to add this to. So we have area four is going to receive three, which is going to be South America. And each one of these has a little wheel on it with numbers going along the edges of it. So as you fill them up, some of these sections are going to have effects that the players will have to resolve when they're covered. All right, and then the second set of three is six. So it's Oshia. All right, so three there. Okay, so that one's been resolved. And then over to this one, each zone adds plus one demon. So we're gonna add one to each of the six zones. So we went from no demons to a fair amount of demons. Okay. And I think that is it for the events. So we're on to the heroic action. So again, our players are going to go ahead and choose how they want to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and jump ahead and have that filled out. All right, and one other thing that I did uh, correct is, again, at the end of that last round, I should have moved my corruption up, so each one of my players, I added one to that as well. So poor Hercules is already up to seven here, so we got to be careful with that, otherwise he's going to be falling here pretty quick. All right, so before going and resolving our action cards, let's go ahead and move. So I'm going to have Raphael move down here. And Hercules, before he moves, he's going to resolve Smash. So this one's going to have him spend one of his zeal and one of his virtue to kill two demons. So he's going to remove that, and then he's going to move over here. All right. Then we're going to go ahead and move into resolving our actions, or our cards. So with Hercules, I'm going to go ahead and do my boom. Our boons, and that is going to give me four virtue. So that puts him up to seven. Back over to Raphael to go. She is going to go ahead and use Illuminate. And that's going to give her four prestige. Hercules is going to go ahead and use uh, Smite. This is going to eliminate three demons, and it's going to cost him one zeal. All
All right, back over to Raphael. She is going to do Smite as well, but she sacrificed it, so it's going to eliminate three demons from her area. And then the other player is going to get to eliminate one demon from his area. And then this will be removed. Over to Hercules, he's going to do his Inspire as a sacrifice, which gives him three resources of his choice. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do, I'll do a Wisdom. And I think I'll do two zeal. And then the other player is going to receive one corruption and two resources of her choice. So I think I'm going to take two wisdom. Okay. All right, so then it goes back over to Raphael. She is going to do her boon, and this is going to give her two prestige, a faith, and a wisdom. All right, and that will discard her cards. And at this point, our players, again, can carry out any actions that they want to. She does have a demon in her space. And unfortunately, she doesn't have a way to handle that. Hercules could do this one, which is going to give him... It's going to require two virtue, though. He doesn't really want to use... He was hoping to hold on to six of the virtues because he has uh, Hercules' club, which he can get as an item, which would be really helpful, I think, for him. Um, so I think I'm just going to let that go for now with Raphael, she, I think I'll go ahead and do another uh, laying on hand of hands, which is going to cost one and two. And again, I will mark that. So we know that she's used two and Hercules used one now. So we're not doing too bad there. And again, that'll heal Hercules one. So that's that puts him at 16. All right, and then at that point, once the heroic actions are done, if there are demons in the zone that the, the hero is in, they're going to lose one hit point per demon. So she takes a damage there. And then we're moving on to the hunt for relics. So I'll bring the relic board back on. And again, Hercules does have that club up there, which is going to cost him six virtue. But it has some really nice abilities with that one. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. It's a heavy purchase, but... Hopefully that's going to pay off. That's going to move into his section. And then Raphael, what is she going to purchase? The gate seal It would be a really good one, I think. That's five resources. Either way, it's going to be expensive. So I think I'm going to go ahead and pick that one up. That's going to be a three wisdom and two prestige. Okay. Well, that will pick that up for her. Again, these are going to be discarded at this point. These are going to slide up, and new ones will come out. Oh, I got another great church. Okay. All right, and then from there, then our heroes are going to draw a new hand. So now we're out. We're going to go ahead and shuffle up our discards. That'll take care of that. Then we're on to advancing the time. So our time... Demon's going to move forward one, so we're on hour three. We're going to check wind conditions again, so we haven't met anything yet. We're going to, uh, and then we're going to pass the first player token, and then again we're going to have to resolve the malaise's effect, so each of our heroes is going to gain a corruption. All right, and then we're into a new round. So Raphael is going to go ahead and start us off as the first player, and we have to resolve our events. So first off, our events are going to slide over. A new event's going to be revealed. So we have the Giants. Oof. All right, so this one, if we wanted to clear it, it requires us to move one of the four horsemen for one space, and then all heroes would have to drop five zeal and three prestige. So they both have prestige, but Raphael does not have the five zeal to do this. So unfortunately, this is going to come out whether we want it to or not. And then we're going to resolve the cards. So this first one is on three now. So war is going to move forward one space. 
So war is up there. This one's going to add two demons to two different areas. So first area is area five. So five is Africa. And area number two is area one. So North America is going to pick up two more. Okay, then we have three demons coming out. Area five, so Africa is picking up some more. So hopefully Hercules got that club this first round. That would be really helpful. All right, so that's resolved all of those. On to this one. All zones are going to receive a demon. So the demons are coming out in droves. So with this one, each of the heroes is going to lose one resource of their choice. So I think we're just going to lose a prestige apiece. Okay. So that was that one. And then we have this one here. Uh, each zone plus one. Okay, so I was incorrect with the second one. So the all only adds it to the zones with the heroes. So I'm going to go ahead and take these back for now. Um, so that wouldn't trigger just yet. But with this one, it's going to add one to each zone. So that is going to add one there. And then I'll add one more to each one of the heroes areas. So we're at two and three. All right. So that had, we have resolved all of the events. And so we're into the heroic actions now. So each of our heroes is going to go ahead and choose their cards. So I'm going to go ahead and handle this again off camera. We'll jump to the next spot here. All right, so moving into it, let's go ahead and... Well, before that, we have to move. Um, so Hercules is definitely moving there to start us off. And... It'd be great to handle that, but I don't think I'm going to be able to at this point. I think I'm going to move over to Asia because I don't think I'm going to be able to handle much else at the point at this point. Or Europe might be a good one. Yeah, I think we'll go to Europe. Okay, so moving into our turns to resolve our stuff here. I'm going to go ahead and use this one. Or I'm going to do the sacrifice first. That gives me one resource of my choice. And I'm going to go ahead and take a wisdom. All right, that'll be sacrificed. Over to Hercules. He's going to go ahead and use his club. So that's going to eliminate five from his area. It's also going to give him, or it's going to cost him two wisdom, and he's going to gain two virtue. All right, so back over to Raphael. She's going to do her use. It's going to give her a faith. It'll give the other player a hit points, and it'll cost them three prestige. All right. Discard over to Hercules. I'm going to go ahead and do my boon next. So this one is going to give me three zil, one virtue, and it allows me to move a demon. So I'm going to go ahead and take one from her area. And that will take care of that. Over to Raphael. She's going to gain three prestige. A faith. Uh, two faith, basically. And a thing of her choice, so I think I'll take a zeal. All right, that'll take care of her stuff. Back over to Hercules. He has his sacrifice for smite. It is going to eliminate three demons and one from another player. So I'll take all of those out of there. And again, that'll be sacrificed. So neither of our players takes any damage from that. So that's a good thing. And... 
That is it. So again, the demons don't do any damage. So we're on to the hunt for relics. So I'm going to bring that board back over and see what we have here. All right, so we have some silver bullets. That's going to cost five of the zeal, which could be done. He definitely has plenty there. That's going to be able to handle more combat. And this one actually targets multiple zones, so that could be really useful. Yeah, I think he's going to go ahead and take the silver bullets. So there's three, four, five. I'm going to add that to his discard. And then with Raphael, she might want to might want to take that too. That could be pretty good. That's four prestige, and, and she has just enough. She could purchase that. I think that's probably the best choice out there. So I'm going to go ahead and spend the four for that and the two, and that will get her some elf archer or arrows. Okay, so then this will be discarded. These will slide up. And some new ones will come out. So from there, then we're going to draw a new hand of cards. One, two, three, four, five. And five. Okay. Our win conditions have not been met yet. We're going to advance the hour marker, so we're on to hour four. So we're almost, we're getting there. This is going to move down. We definitely have to pick up the pace with some of our heroes using abilities. Then each of our heroes is going to have to gain a corruption. And the first player marker passed. So again, we're into a new round. So round four. All right, so with this, the first thing is everything is going to slide over. So the death uh, of a prophet is going to be resolved and done with. These will move over and a new one's going to come out. So what do we have here? We have Death Rides Again. So this one's going to be moving death. And this is going to be a big one for the horsemen. And it's going to, or we could have our players resolve it. Again, we are short on wisdom. But I could pop that. That would require three, two... Oh, that's a cost. Never mind. I was looking at the wrong thing. Yeah, nothing gives a plus on that. And I don't have, I'm not high enough yet for that. Brace the light. I could add a corruption to be able to do that. That could be possible. Because that would move death three times, potentially, versus just once. Which, at this point, is going to add a demon to each zone. What to do? Should we pop it or wait? We definitely have enough prestige to handle that. It's just that one thing. And that would give us give us a little bit more resources too. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Why not? All right, so I'm gonna spend the one to, to do this. That gives me two resources of my choice. So I think I will take another wisdom and prestige. And then that is going to increase his corruption by one, gives him plus one wisdom and plus one zeal. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and resolve or handle this. So death is going to move forward one, and each zone is going to receive a demon for that. So we're, our demons have been starting to accumulate. Nope, this should only have three. There's one, one, four, and five. Yikes. All right, and then it's going to cost us four wisdom apiece. And three prestige apiece. 
right, and then this is going to be eliminated. So we'll just add that over there, and then we have to resolve the effects on each one of these. So three is going to have one of the horsemen move. All right, so let's see which one it's going to be. It is horseman number two, which is war. So seal for both. So he's going to lose one. She has none to lose. And then each zone without a hero plus one demon. All right, so we have one there. So that's up to four, four, five, and six. So each hero is going to lose a wisdom. He's out, so nothing there. All right, and this is in area number two. So seven demons are going to be added and minus one prestige. Uh, I think he can take it, so he'll lose one. All right, let's see where the seven drop. Area number two, which is Europe. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So two zeal from each. She doesn't have any to lose. All right, and that has resolved all of that. So we are in trouble. All right. Um, so now we're into heroic actions. All right. Move in here and start doing some stuff here. All right. So we are ready and let's do some movement. Hmm. So Hercules, I think, is definitely going to move up there to handle that. And Raphael. Raphael, where do we want to move Raphael? I think I'll go to Asia, see if I can handle some of that. I'm not going to do a whole bunch, but we'll see what can what we can do here. All right. So moving into it, we have Hercules first. And with Hercules, he's got a ton of enemies on his space. So let's move. Sacrifice. All right. I think. We want to use an ability first. What do we got going on here? He's at 11. So I could pop his big one, which is minus five demons, plus one corruption, plus a resource, minus two virtue, and the other player gets to drop a demon. I might need to do that. I need to start using some abilities because we're running running low here. Got to make some, some choices here. All right, let's go ahead and start off with this one. So this is the Hydra Poison. So this one's going to drop five demons, three, five, from that area. It's going to raise his by one. He's going to get one resource of his choice. I think a wisdom would be useful and it's going to cost him two virtue. And then it also eliminates one demon from another player's. Okay. Then I will go ahead and do sacrifice. That's going to let me move two demons. So I'm going to go ahead and pull two in from her area. It's going to give me two prestige, and then it lets me eliminate one demon per two corruption I have. So it lets me get rid of six, so that's going to clear all of those out. Which I probably should have done that first at this point. Nah, it's all right. All right, so that has been sacrificed. Back over to Raphael. She is going to. I'm going to go ahead and do the boon. 
So this is going to do two prayers for her. So she's going to get two wisdom out of that and two prestige. Hercules is going to go ahead and use Ambrosia. It's going to drop his corruption down one. It's going to cost him one virtue. The other player is going to pick up a wisdom. She's going to go ahead and do sacrifice here. So she's got six, which is going to give her plus five prestige. So that'll put her up to 11. And that's her sacrifice. Over to Hercules, he's going to do his boon now. So this is going to get him a Wisdom and a Prestige for that. And this one is a Sword and a Virtue. And then it lets him move a Demon. So I should probably pull one. I'll pull one from here. All right, so that's his. Over to Raphael, she's going to use this, which is minus one sword, which she does not have. I should have taken, I think there was an option there. So I'll take one, because I had one resource where I get to choose. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna lose that and that. And then each zone is going to lose a demon. So that helps out. And then this will be into the use pile. All right, and then we should probably use some more divine powers here. So let's see what we got. I'm gonna go ahead and do a prestige and two faith to give him another hit point. So that's her third power. I could do a strengthen. I have those resources to do that. So I think I will do that. So it's going to cost me one and two. And that will give me three virtue. So that's his ability. I'm going to bounce back up to her and do... Which one was it that I was talking about? The Divine Restoration, I think. So that's going to give me a health and a zeal. The other player is going to receive a corruption Zill, and it's going to take one of those. So that's another one on her. So now she's used four, he's used three. I think that's about it. We're still doing good. I don't want to go too heavy as she only needs one and he needs two more. So I think we're good there. There's no demons in their area, so they don't take any damage. So we're on to hunting for relics. All right, so what do we got here? All right, I think I'm gonna buy the crystal skull with him. It's gonna be three and three. And I think I'm gonna get the Great Church with her. So it's gonna be one resource for choice and three faith. All right. So again, this is gonna go away. These will slide up. And we have some new ones coming out. All right, then we are on to the final phase in the round. So we're gonna draw a new hand of relics. So each player is gonna shuffle those up. And our win conditions have not been met yet, so, so we're going to advance the hour marker. So this is hour five, and then pass the first player token. And then each one of us will gain a corruption. So she's at six, and he is at 13. Oof. All right. So from there, then we're into the new round. So this is going to move off. This one will move over, and our final card will come on. And this is fire and brimstone. Ooh. Four, one player, lose five. Yeah, we don't have enough to eliminate it. We were close, very, very close. All right, so then we have to resolve. So this one's gonna have us moving war forward one. So we're gonna add plus two demons and each one of us will lose a zeal. 
So let's see where the two are going to come out. Hopefully in a spot that isn't super bad. Into six. So six is going to have five spots. All right. And then this one is going to add four ends two, and all players are going to lose three prestige. So we went from having a ton to very little here. All right. Uh, so we have four demons coming out first into spot two, Europe. Okay. So that was a good spot to have them go. And then the other one is going to add two more somewhere. Ugh. Area one, two. So we're each going to lose a wisdom. Our boards are looking shaggy here. We're almost out of resources. All right. So that was the events. So we're into the heroic actions. So again, I'm going to go ahead and take care of this off camera real quick. All right, so then we're going to move. Um, I think North America is probably our riskiest area. And I don't think I really want to move her into danger just yet. All right, uh, so I think I'm going to leave her where she is, as there's not much else I can do at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and start with her boon here. So this is going to give her two prestige, a wisdom, and a faith. Moving down to Hercules. He's got these. So I'm going to go ahead and use his boon. So this is going to... Do three virtue, zeal, and it allows him to move one demon. I'm going to go ahead and shift one from there. Okay. Back over to Raphael. She is going to use this one. All right, so this one lets her Gain two resources of her choice. I'll take a wisdom and a prestige. Or no, I'll take a zeal. Okay. So that'll take care of that. And down to the player here. He's going to go ahead and sacrifice the ambrosia. That gives him a wisdom, virtue. And the other player loses a Corruption. Back to Raphael. She's going to sacrifice Bless. This is going to give her a resource of her choice. I'll take a Zeal. And the other player is going to reduce their Demon by one and their Corruption by one. That was a Sacrifice. And finally, down to Hercules to finish his turn off. He has used, so it's going to cost him his one zeal that he has. And he can target up to three zones and reduce them by a total of, or take five demons away from three zones totally. So let's go ahead and do one, one, and one. And I'll take two from there. All right, and that will take care of that. And then he definitely needs to use some powers here. So what do we got? What can I do? Can I do anything? All right, so I can do this one that's gonna take away three demons. Right, is that what I wanna do? I mean, this one might be the other player. Three demons plus one, minus one gives me that. Actually, I think I'm going to do the Hydra again. So that's going to take five, so that'll clear his area. It's going to increase his corruption by one. He gets one resource of his choice, and he has to spend two virtue. So that puts him up to four. I wish he had one that he could move, but he does not.
So I'm going to do performing a labor. So this is going to cost him two. He gets a zeal and two resources of his choice. I'm going to take one more of those and a wisdom. And then the other player removes two demons and increases her prestige by one, but she doesn't have any demons there. So that would be his fifth. And then she still has some to do. So let's see what we can do with her. Spends two to get two more there. Because otherwise, I don't think there's much else that would be super beneficial at this point. Now I could do this one as well. Let's find restoration. I think I'll do that one as well. So that's going to give me a health. Zill. It also gives my other player corruption. Zill. And it's going to cost him one virtue. All right. So I think that is going to do it. So again, our the demons would attack, but there aren't any in our spots. So hunt for relics. So again, we get to buy relics here. All right, then we draw a new hand of cards. So each of our heroes gets five. Our win conditions have not been met yet. We're going to advance the hour marker, so this is it. This is the final hour. And passing the first player token, and then we're increasing our corruption by one. So Raphael is almost at her fallen point. So if her markers meet, then she is going to, that is going to be bad news for us. It basically starts moving the horsemen and that faster. So not good at all. All right, so back into the events. This one's going to kick off. This one will move over. And since this is the final round, then we are going to resolve the event in spot two as if it was in spots three. So this one's going to add two demons to the two hero spots. Okay, so overall not too bad. All right, uh, then we are into the heroic actions step. So our heroes are gonna go ahead and take their turns. We are very low on resources here, so let's see what we can do. All right, so moving into it, we have Hercules first, oh well, for movement, do we want to move anybody around? Mm. I think I'm going to go ahead and try and move her into there. We'll see what happens with that. All right, and I think Hercules is going to stay there. He can handle some of this. So he's going to go ahead and do his sacrifice first, I think. Or do I want to do something else first? What was I thinking here? I'm going to switch these up real quick. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do his sacrifice first. This is going to take three demons out of his area and one out of his fellow teammates area. Kicking it back over to Raphael. She is going to... We might as well use the gate seal. So this one's going to cost one and one. And it's going to... Each zone is going to remove a demon. Okay, very useful. Back over to Hercules. I am going to do his boons. So it's minus one demon. He has none in his space. Plus two seal of virtue and three prestige. Okay. Over to Raphael. She is going to do her sacrifice. So this is the first great church that she sacrificed. So she's going to get two faith and two of wisdom. All right. And that is her turn. 
So back over to Hercules, he's got the great uh, crystal skull. It's minus one demon, which he doesn't have any in his spaces. He has to spend one here, and then all players get to draw a card. But at this point, this is the last turn, so it's not going to matter too much. All right, so his stuff is done. Over to Raphael to finish off her turn. So she's got her boons. So this is going to get her four prestige. So she's ending strong here. She's got a lot of resources. Gets a resource of her choice. So I'll take another zeal. She gets plus one there. And then she can choose two zones and remove one demon from each of those zones. So I'll go ahead and take one from there and one from there. All right. And that's it. So again, we can choose to use any of these if we want to, which I don't think they're, I don't think they're, I really want to. And we have our requirements. We've both used at least five, so we're good there. So our heroes are not taking any damage as there are no demons in our areas. So we're on to hunting for relics. So we still do have to buy a relic a piece. So let's handle that real quick. Well, I don't have two. have to do that one to get that so I will not have enough for that what do I got here I could potentially do I could do that one so that's one two and two so poor Hercules has very little resources it's a good thing we are wrapping this up because I don't know if he'd be able to make it too much farther he's almost out of stuff here and over to Raphael for her purchase what do we got? Love potion or stone tablets. Let's do that one. So it is three, a resource for choice, and two faith. All right, that gets her the stone tablets. All right, then again, these would be removed, up, and new ones come out. Pot of gold. Ooh, another gate seal. All right, and then we're into advancing the time. So we would draw a new hand of relics, which we're not going to do at this point. We would check for win conditions, which we have met. Both of our characters have the requirements for the game, and this is the final round. So that is the game, and our players have won. Well, I was able to pull it off. Both of my, my heroes were able to meet the requirements, uh, but it was getting close. Hercules was down to very little resources left, and both of our characters had a lot of corruption. And as you saw, there's not a lot of ways of reducing that. So it, it's definitely one of those things where it's really hard to manage that if you're not careful. And Raphael was almost ready to be considered fallen. So Things were not looking good. I'm glad that we were able to get through that with the amount of time that we had. And I hope you found the video helpful in deciding whether or not this is one you want to back on Kickstarter. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please post those in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Or swing by the Kickstarter's main page and drop any questions you have there as well. I'm sure the creator would love to hear from you and is more than happy to answer any questions you have. And until next time, I'll see you later.